hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to explain about what is property and what are the different types of properties available in pega and how we can create that and how can we use it so if you see here there is a form where we are capturing some address information where it is address line one two and postal code so address line one might be some characters but postal code should accept some integers now if you want to create one field after uh, shopping you want to display some billing amount for that you you have to create uh, some decimal kind of property so how to do that if you go here application if you right click create data model you can see property and i'm giving as billing amount it is good practice to give some space over here but not uh, an identifier now i have selected app context class rule set click down create and open just before saving it i can see here i can change the property type if you click you can see date date time decimal double identifier password true or false it's true or false is nothing but uh, boolean and if you see here there is something called as single page page group page list and value group value list java property list on that so in our scenario i am selecting our billing amount as decimal and see our ui control changes to px number if you select again here and go for some text or ui control suppose if it is a decimal we might enter only digits and a separated value like dot but we should not be allowing user to enter some text over there so i am giving some decimal on here go advance we did not create any validations or anything else now i am going to history and in pega whichever rule you create it's good to maintain description and usage as a good practice now if i want to relate this billing amount i am going to a section billing amount i am saying it now we have created a property but before getting into that i want to explain few concepts see this is a property and we have two kinds of properties like value mode page mode in value mode we can have single value value list value group and page mode property means page single page page list page group okay now single value single value is nothing but it can be like an integer uh, decimal text where we will be saving some values okay now we are having a scenario where a person can have multiple phone numbers okay now how we will hold that further pega has given a concept for value list in value list you can create phone numbers like mobile of 1 mobile of 2 and here you can have only single value okay now you don't have any differentiation like which is home phone number or which is office phone number further pega has come up with a property type called as value group where you will be giving mobile of home mobile of office so what is this 1 2 what is this home office this 1 2 or this home office these are called as index or subscript simple in java we would be using arrays where we are having multiple values like uh, array is will be starting values from 0 1 2 3 so here we are having a particular property like this and we are giving one index value to it so this comes under value mode so now how to create a page as i have said earlier like text decimal integer all those are called as single value properties now we need to hold all these values on a single context 
then pega has given a concept like single page okay so for uh, for our scenario if we want a single place where uh, all these values should be stored then we will be creating single page now how to create that for example we have all our properties here now we want to refer all these values in our register class so how can we do that normally in our register class as this is a child class and this is our parent class in rule resolution algorithm we are able to find these rules but if we want to hold all these value under a single page how can you achieve by creating a page mode property click on register create data model property now i'm giving us address info click change single page i have to define this page this page can contain all the values of zmart zmart work for example now i can give all these values here click save now this page is defined to this class under this class again you click try click refresh property see your address info property is created which is a page more property and if you expand this you can see all these properties over here right that is nothing but single page more property what is page list and what is page book what is the difference between value list value book and page list page book suppose there is a scenario like where we are having multiple customers on a case right like in our case in value list as a mobile one or mobile two can hold only values of mobile number they can't hold the values of billing amount or address values but we are having a scenario where we should be having multiple customers on a case and it should hold different kind of values for example we have to hold uh, values of customer address line 1 address line 2 mobile number this is customer 1 now i am now having customer 2 and it should also contain same set of records right and i can't go and create this value list because this value list can contain only mobile numbers but not the other values because uh, i have defined this value list as only mobile numbers you can define value list that contains only at the slime one or you can define a value list that contains only address line 2 but now in our scenario i have customer 1 and customer 2 i have to create a property type called as page list and now all the list kind of values will be having a subscript or index few people will be called in subscript few people will be calling index but the purpose is same it's just to refer which value over there so as i have said here value list mobile of one is the subscript value list mobile two is and the subscript okay no customer one customer two and this customer one should contain all these values and customer two should contain again all these values properties you would be creating only one that is customer property of mode page list and we will be using that if we are having n number of customers we won't be creating n number of properties right because in pega it is a low code platform and we have to look on reuse building now how to create this page list property go here register create data model property customer create and open 
now click here change page list again i'm giving this class name refresh data model property and see this customer is having all these values and this customer is a page list property now this customer can have multiple records and what is page group as i have said like value list page list these uh, value group and page group also look similar so value group can contain values of only uh, one data type but subscript would be different suppose we are having a scenario like we will be having uh, customers who is having some premium membership gold membership if we use this like customer one customer and customer three you can't identify which is gold customer platinum customer or premium customer for that purpose pera has come up with page group page group subscript only difference gold premium in the same lines how we have created page list we can create this page group and we can define to the same class right again i am ending the session value mode page mode are the two type of properties we can create in pega a single value can hold only one property and value list can hold multiple values of same property value group will also hold multiple values of same property with different subscript single page can hold only one instance of this value or single values where we will define with a class name page list page list can hold multiple values like integer text decimal boolean all of multiple customers with subscript of integers uh, customer 1 2 3 whereas page group also behaves in the same way of page list but the subscript will be different and you can play around these properties by create by clicking on create data model property and by choosing the class name and rule set and choosing the respective property type thank you